are you? Um, my card, son. Like I said, are you? I am, I say, I am the hunter. Okay, hunter. Here's a blow for your cartoon show. understand the criminal mind? Who can predict what a chronic criminal like the wily, clever fox will do next? In his long career, the fox had stolen some amazing films. The Brooklyn Bridge, the Statue of Liberty, an entire railroad train, to name but a few. And now the fox had outdone himself. He had stolen all the sheep in the USA. The effect was instantaneous. No sheep meant no wool. No wool meant no coats, no blankets, no socks. Everyone knew the crime was the work of the fox, and that there was only one man to catch him, the hunter. Officer Flynn Flanagan was delegated to contact the hunter. And so you see, hunter, we're positive this job is the work of the fox, and you're the one to catch him. Uh, say you'll do it, hunter. Say you'll find the sheep. Well, now, why don't you just leave them alone, and they'll come home, dragging their tails behind them. <laughs> yeah, that's a joke, son. Why, of course, I'll take the case. Can't have the whole country freezing this winter. We from the sunny south don't have to worry. But you Yankees would be in a pack of trouble. And so the hunter headed for the great open plains of the west, from which all the sheep were disappearing. And I would like to start at the scene of the crime. And according to my precise calculations, it's right here. I'll look for a clue. No wildly clever criminal is going to pull the wool over my eyes. <laughs> That's another joke, son. I say that's a woman. That's a poke, son. <laughs> with the intermittent hunter temporarily out of the way, the fox continued with Operation Sheep Dip. It was a very ingenious plan and fully mechanized. First, using his new invention, the automatic sheep dipper, the fox would invade a flock of sheep and scoop up every sheep in sight. You, lamb, ram, wham, they all fell victim to the automatic sheep dipper. But that was only the beginning. The sheep were next put into one of the most diabolical inventions of all time, the sheep shrinker. Full-sized sheep herded into one end. Came out the other end the size of mice. Here they were packaged in sets of 12 and sold to people who had to count sheep to go to sleep. Allow me to introduce myself, friend. I'm Dr. Dormier. You look to me like a fellow who hasn't slept in days, friend. You need Dr. Dormier's dandy dozen dozen. Twelve specially trained sheep guaranteed to put anyone to sleep. Only Now, cause... now, now, don't bother me, son. I'm on a big case. No time for sleeping on the job. That's what you think. Pleasant dreams, sleeping beauty. <laughs> Finally, the hunter, unable to come up with a single clue as to the missing sheep, decided to use an old trick. He put on a disguise. Well, by, I say, by ground is it takes a sheep to catch a sheep. I'll just put on this sheep disguise and nosy out to the meadow and see what I can pick up in the way of a clue. <laughs> and sure enough, no sooner had the hunter gotten to the meadow than he was spotted by the fox, scooped up in the automatic sheep dipper and dumped into the instant sheep shrinker. I am the hunter. I'm on a big case. Let me out, I say. The mighty hunter proved too much for the sheep shrinker. And... Ah, uh, sure, hunter, and I knew you could do it. The fox and the sheep. Oh, how can we ever repay you? Well, now, 40 winks should do very nicely, son. Officer, who is that keen-eyed, alert man of the plains? That, me boy, is the hunter. What happened to the shrunken sheep? As soon as they dried out, they grew back to their normal size. And everything was sheep-shaped once again.